Today is the day we're setting out and we are greeted with amazing weather. The biggest problem we have now is not the weather, it is the packing. Uh, we began packing yesterday, or we packed the car yesterday, and we fit about half of what we want to bring. We don't really know how to solve it, so I'm gonna have to go through everything again and really minimalize and see how, how we can try to fit things. And we also did not manage to fit our bedding into the rooftop tent, which is um, really bad. Because if we can't fit that into the rooftop tent, then that's gonna take up half the trunk. Just that. Now these three boxes, I want to get down to two. Food items, all of this. This is, okay, a little blanket and then the fridge, then three boxes with kitchen things. So that's obviously not possible if we want to store clothes and camera gear and just anything else. So let's get started. Now the dream would be to be able to get rid of this one. The logical part of me thinks I'm probably only gonna get rid of the small one, but the dream is to get rid of this one as well. I'm gonna try again to put the bedding in the rooftop tent and hopefully it works out. Like in comparison with other rooftop tents, there's usually like a little room, but we got a really large one for the whole family. There's no like the golden part is more or less the same. It's like a 20 centimeter room. Um, but hopefully it's gonna work. It's so cozy up here though. I'm going to try it like this first. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Crooked. Like it's, it's not even. It has to be even. You can kind of close it, but not fully. Actually, I, I think it looks all right now. I'm gonna ask you home. Okay, so that's done and that worked. I'm so happy. Um, I'm gonna put our pajamas as well up there, and I don't think that's gonna be a problem. So, clothes feels almost impossible. I'm gonna go with a skirt, a pair of jeans, um, and some tights, and then some t-shirts. Six months of clothes. It is now, it is now 10 past two in the afternoon, and I don't feel too optimistic about us leaving anytime soon. Um, I packed my clothes, the kids' clothes. I packed the kitchen things. I got it down to two boxes. Um, that's about it. It's now 3.30 and we're giving up. We've given up on setting out today. Um, right now I'm gonna try to repack the trunk and see what it looks like at the moment with all the bags we have now. I didn't think I would be able to close it. I closed it. <laughs> so the only thing I can't fit now is this bag with kids stuff. It's basically like painting and uh, 
of DIY and some of my knitting. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's fine that I can't fit it, but I'm thinking that we are, we might as well just move this shelf up a bit. Then we can use the pockets properly on the sides and we have a little bit more room. Then I can fit this bag and Johan can hopefully fit his stuff as well. One thing I forgot is that I'm also gonna fit a huge backpack of gear. Um. We did not set out today. We waited for this. I don't know if I can cut it by the clip. This one is just a gift. These. Now you may think, why is that revolutionary? Well, usually on this, when I put my camera or whatever on my tripod, I have to screw it in to the little plate. But now I can attach one of these things to each tripod. We have one big one, one middle one, and one small one. I can attach this to each, each tripod. And then I can ta attach a little plate to each camera, including the cell phone holder, and then we can just click it on. We don't need to sit there with our little like mini coins and try to screw screws. We can just click, 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 and we can change tripods really easily. And these are your lens I'll link to do them below in case anybody else wants one. We are here in Datong and we won't be setting it until tomorrow at 11, we said. And now we're going to travel. This is Qinghai province. This area is more or less close to foreigners. So we'll be traveling in these areas here, some of them that I can go. I can't really go north of the lake. I think that's also closed. I'll go here and then we're going to Gansu. So we might instead be going um, south due to the weather. We'll see a little bit how cold it is and how the camping goes. We might be heading south immediately and then go up and do Chongqing and Shanxi, Ningxia and Gansu. Or we will do it first and then drive south. We'll see what works. Um, and if everything works well, we're gonna drive all through China. We're gonna spend all next year on the road as well. So that's the dream and I hope it becomes a reality. So apparently I need one more exam, like a physical exam for my visa application process. They didn't tell us earlier. So we have to do that today and hopefully we can still leave in the afternoon. Super long ride to get here, but I arrived. So got the health check done, um, had, had some breakfast, we took some pictures too that we're still waiting for. Usually it goes really quickly, today they said an hour, so we're still waiting. Um, we can't set out after three because then it will be dark when we arrive. So we need to, it's I think about 10, 10 a.m. now. So we need to get the pictures, hand in the pictures and then get home, it takes about an hour. Maybe we're home at around 12, three hours to pack everything, every last bit we need to bring and also to um, um, clean the house. Lagoa. <laughs> So we're back home and still planning to set out today. Um, gonna get 
everything that we need to fill up the the cool, cooler box the water and then we're gonna start just putting the rest in the car uh, cleaning the house hopefully we'll be out by two or three so it's already four o'clock but we are sitting out regardless um, no matter what time we are sitting out today um, and I'm not packing up the last things for the trunk to try to make everything organized and fit into the trunk so it's kind of picking out little bits and items and trying just to minimize and just take away anything excessive and anything that we might not need. And now the packing begins. Wish me luck. New turn of events, we're not bringing the cooler. We decided to leave that behind. It's huge and it takes up a lot of space and uh, we are not using it for a lot, for many things. We had ketchup, oat milk and egg in it. And we think that will be fine. And some pickled cucumber. And that will be fine without a cooler. Whenever we stop and like, we try to not leave it in the car. And if we leave the car in the sun, then we'll figure it out. Removing that one thing, the cooler, made a stone drop from my heart it was the right decision and now we have space for everything we don't even have to cram it here we have the kitchen three boxes and then the rest is just small potatoes now this is definitely not the best way to pack everything but everything is packed and I will not do anything about the order now whenever we stop and start camping we will have to take everything out anyway, so... Just realized I forgot the toiletries, I forgot a bag full of electricities, I forgot the lamps, the camping lamps, so... I'm just gonna, gonna have to go out and fix some tricks a little bit more. So this is it. We're sitting out. Bebe! 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 So excited. My stomach is full of butterflies. 